This is a three breaker maintenance bypass with Kirk key interlocks and a solenoid key release, also called an SKRU. The purpose of the locks and SKRU is to ensure safety of personnel as well as correct operation of the equipment. The goal of this video is to provide a visual walkthrough to make sure you're interacting with the locks and SKRU confidently and correctly. To start, let's get familiar with the key components. There are three breakers in the top section. They are labeled UIB, which is the UPS input breaker, MBB, which is the maintenance bypass breaker, and MIB, which is the maintenance isolation breaker. There is also an SKRU lock with illuminated push button in the bottom section. Right now, we're in normal operation, so the MBB breaker is locked off, the UIB breaker is on, the MIB breaker is on, and the SKRU push button is not illuminated, which means the UPS is not currently on bypass. These are the conditions in which the maintenance bypass stays during normal operation. But during maintenance, we'll need to put the UPS on bypass and make some changes to the breakers in order to create conditions safe for maintenance. The first step in the process is to put the UPS on bypass. The SKRU push button will not illuminate unless the UPS is on bypass and sending a signal. You cannot proceed unless the push button light is illuminated. Now that we know the UPS is in bypass mode, let's take a look at how that changed the current flow on the one-line diagram. As you can see, putting the UPS in bypass has changed our source from Utility Source 1 to Utility Source 2 instead. Here's a split screen to show the change in current in real time. The next step is to depress the push button and unlock and remove key A1 from the SKRU lock. We'll then insert key A1 into the MBB breaker lock and turn it to unlock. The bolt is now in the withdrawn position. Turn on the MBB breaker. Key A1 is now held captive. Here's a split screen to show what the current flow looks like now that we've turned on the MBB breaker. Our source is still utility source 2, but the inputs are now paralleled since current is flowing through both the MBB and MIB breakers. Next, we'll move on to the MIB breaker. The bolt should already be in the withdrawn position. Let's turn off the breaker. Once that's done, we turn key B1 to lock the MIB breaker in the off position. Key B1 is now free. Here's the change in real time. Instead of parallel inputs from utility source 2, the UPS output is now isolated from the load. Key B1 can now be inserted into the SKRU lock and turned. The UPS is now ready for routine maintenance. You'll notice the key is held captive in the SKRU. This prevents anyone from removing it and changing any of the lock conditions, ensuring safety and system integrity during maintenance. If further maintenance requires a total shutdown of the UPS and isolation from the input, the UIB breaker must be turned off and the battery supply to the UPS must be disconnected. Refer to your UPS manual for proper shutdown procedures. If the UIB breaker was turned off for maintenance, follow the UPS manual for proper startup procedures. To restore input power to the UPS, turn on the UIB breaker. Now that maintenance is complete, the UPS and bypass need to be returned to normal operation. The UPS must still be in bypass mode to complete this part of the procedure, so the push button should be illuminated. To start, depress and hold the button in order to unlock and remove key B1. Next, insert key B1 into the interlock on the MIB breaker. Turn it to unlock, which withdraws the bolt. Now, turn on the MIB breaker. Key B1 is now captive. Here's a look at the change in current. You'll note, we are just reversing the process from earlier.
Next, turn off the MBB breaker and turn key A1 to lock it in the off position. Key A1 is now free and can be removed. Here's a split screen to show that change in terms of current flow. We'll next insert key A1 into the solenoid key release unit and turn it to lock. Key A1 should now be held captive. Last, transfer the UPS from bypass mode back to normal mode. The push button should de-illuminate at this point. Here's a visual to show the change in current flow when returning to normal operation. Success! We've completed the process and returned both the UPS and maintenance bypass to normal operation.